Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today we're going to look at bridging a Polish LP10 or an SB22 switchboard to a PSD or a POTS phone line to make a phone call. So here we go. Okay, here's basically the setup we're going to use today. Uh, I don't have a Polish LPC10 phone or LP10 phone, so what a phone switchboard. Can't talk. So what I have is I have a Soviet P193, which is the same switchboard except it's got a, a generator in it and it's got a handset on it. Well, I basically am not going to use the generator. Um, I took the handset off and I actually have this TA312 connected to the operator position. It's got operator binding post just like the uh, LP10 does. And that's what that's going to be. Uh, like I said, TA312 is my uh, operator phone. Um, I used to hook up a single phone. I used a Swedish M37 phone to be my subscriber that we do the phone calls with just because it was handy to grab when I was grabbing stuff. Um, this is my PABX. This is what I'm using to provide my dial tone and my call servicing stuff. So basically this is representing basically my Magic Jack or my UMA or my phone company right here. This gives me the ability to make multiple phone calls and call different numbers just like I have my own phone service basically. The other reason I wanted to use it is because as you take phones on and off hook, you can see the lights change. That's going to be important when we start talking about how this operates. Um, and then I have this. This is very important. This is my basically my parallel or two to one box. I'm basically taking a single phone line coming out of here and splitting it between this phone and the switchboard. And the reason I do that is this phone is going to be the phone for processing calls. On an SB22 switchboard, you have what's called a trunk pack, and that basically, trunk pack, and there's a dial pad that comes with it. The trunk pack and dial pad allow you to use the SB22 to make phone calls and dial phone numbers. Now, this phone doesn't have that capability. So to do that, and also we don't want the PBX to see this directly, we, so we have this phone in here. It helps us better control what's going on to make phone calls and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a phone call coming in, to the phone and then how you would transfer it or bridge it into the phone and get it to a field phone user. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll put the speaker phone with all the number. And this phone's ringing. It also rings the uh, switchboard too. I'm going to answer it. Hey, what's up? That time they're going to tell me, hey, I'd like to talk to so and so. You say, okay. So then you look on your directory, see who it is. We're going to transfer it down to line one. So basically what that does is allows me to call line one. Guy in the field phone is going to answer line one. I'm going to say, hey, I got a phone call for you, so stand by. And you're going to take this right here, this patch cord. You're going to pull it out and you're going to push it down here. That just basically bridges this phone in with this phone, this phone, and this phone. You're going to do this. I'm going to take the operator phone out of the picture. We're going to hang this phone up, and basically what we have is this. Test 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Test 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Test, test, test. Basically what it is, this phone call is now on a, a PSTN or a PABX or whatever you want to call it. It's calling out. You can do it with the Magic Jack or Uma or whatever you're talking about. Now, when, you, when the call is done, we can hear the switch going fast busy. So what we have to do is we have to go in here and we have to pull this. Pop that back up. Push that back up. Plug that in here like this. We're now ready to process a call. So basically what we did is we called from a basically an inbound phone call. We called through the switch to this phone right here, which is parallel to the switchboard. I then answered this phone and got the information I needed to know and told them to stand by. I then used the operator phone to call this person on this line, told them what's going on, and passed the phone call across. And I basically disconnect or hang up the, uh, the operator phone and this phone right here because this is not holding the call off hook so you can talk. And what that does is it improves your audio quality. It's a lot easier to have like all these people on the line. You can hear better. That's basically how that works. Now we'll do, do it the other way. We'll go from making a call from somebody calling in saying, hey, I want an outside line. 
and dial this phone number to actually make the call. So the first thing we're going to do is this person is going to call the operator. So he's going to pick his phone up, call the operator. There's the call. The tab drop. There's the call. Hey, what's up? You're going to say, hey, I want to talk to so-and-so. Here's the phone number. To tell them to, okay, stand by. So you're going to take the cord right here. You're going to take this phone off hook and you're going to push it in there like that. You're going to dial. That's right, too. Okay, at this time we're now going to either mute the call. You can mute if you want to. And He's ready to talk. So right now, test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. The phone call is now pushed through the system. And when you're done, you're going to hang it up. You're going to get the fast busy because it's not online. So then you're going to pull this, put this back over here, and notice we're back to no lights on. That's basically how it works. Pretty simple. Um, you could do this with an SB22 if you don't have a line pack, the same way. Um, I did some experimentation. Sometimes this, depending on some of the ports on the, the switch itself, these each line things, they won't um, hang the phone line up. They, they're like, the phone sees them as a, as a phone that's being off hooked. So lots of times what you have to do is you can do it like this also. I run it like this. You get the incoming ring from into the phone. It goes... It still rings this phone, it just doesn't ring that. But then when you hang up, it goes ahead and puts the phone off hook. And, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I could probably do more phones, but for the, the purpose of this video, I just did one phone. Um, this should work with all your field phones. The only thing I discovered when I was experimenting with it a couple of years ago, the Sunfield phones have a little bit higher, or yeah, higher quality or better quality audio on them. So this one's pretty good. Um, I tried a uh, British Set J, and it just it was a little weak. So just just be prepared. They're not all going to sound the same. Or excuse me, sound the same. I use this phone right here because it had a speaker phone on it. You don't have to do that. You can use a normal phone without a speaker phone. It's up to you. I thought that this was easier with the speaker phone. It also has a mute feature on it, so when you are off hook, making all your phone calls on that, and have the speaker on, you can press the mute button that way, you know, they're not getting background noise and stuff. So, uh, that's it. That's how it works. Uh, hope you learned something.